Hi everybody, today's video is with Carol. She's going to tell us about her vintage camper. So it is a 1957 Arrowhead. I'm seeing on that sign right there. Yeah, that's right. And how long is it? Um, it's uh, 17 feet from the tip of the, the tongue to the, to the back. So the body is 15 feet. Okay, and do you know how much it weighs? Um, it probably weighs about 2,200 pounds. Okay, so let's go in. You can show me. Oh, you have a tarp up here. Is that just something that you made? Yeah, I made this out of just a waterproof tarp I found online. Um, so to keter uh, rope in, into the one side of it and um, bought some tent poles, extendable tent poles, and then sewed the bunting to clip onto it. And, we get and it works. Going. Yeah, it works pretty good. So you have a, a screen door. Is that original? Um, it is not. It's it's very similar to what it originally was, but it wasn't in good shape. So I had somebody do some restoration on this trailer, and he built a new door for it. Um, <clears throat> he also did uh, the interior. Um, the, it's all new um, birch paneling, new... All over the whole camper? It, yeah, new insulation, new plumbing and wiring. Um, he <clears throat> uh, beefed up the structure where it needed to be on the framing and repaired any water damage that there was. Um, these are the original cabinets. We ha I had him take those out um, and, and reinstall them. I wanted to keep the original cabinets. Is, is the boomerang new? Uh, yes, all the laminate is new, and the, this particular table is new. Um, the stove uh, is all original, came with the trailer, and I use it all the time. I love to cook. It works great. And, um, and that is a princess. Yep. And had new marmoleum flooring put in. The, the, the floor itself was in good condition. It just um, had to put some new... Um, covering on it and it's marmoleum linoleum. and that is like an aqua color like mm -hmm. a teal it's striated yeah yeah and what else um <clears throat> do you have air conditioning no air conditioning but i had in place of the original ceiling fan that was just actually a ceiling vent it was just basically a vent um i had this put in which is a fantastic fan mm -hmm. and it uh it sucks the air out, and okay. when you open windows, it pulls the cool air in. Okay. It works really well. And that, is this a wardrobe here? Yeah, this is the, I'm not gonna, <laughs> it's a little messy, but that's, um, it's got shelves in it. Okay. It needs a little, little beeping up in there. And then the curtain gives you privacy. Yeah, curtain for the porta potty. Um, we don't have a closet space for the porta potty, so we just leave so it you there. You put a chenille blanket over it. Yeah. And then it's a little stool during the day. I love this embroidery work. Yeah, my mother did those back in the 50s. They're, they're family heirlooms, I guess you would call it. So that's cool that you get to show <laughs> yeah. it. You get to enjoy it instead yeah. of it just being in a box. And then the chenille was from my grandmother's bedspread. It has pink in it. It's not showing up on the camera. But the and background is a very pale pink. Quilt was, is, is another family heirloom. One of my, my aunts that. Okay. Yeah, it's great yeah. that you get to enjoy yeah. these things because most people just stick it in the closet. Yeah. <clears throat> you're not picking up that color, but this part of it, the flat yeah, part, it was, is a very it was pale pretty, pink. Um, threadbare, and it was starting to get holes in it. So I just repurposed it for um, pillow covers. And Which is a great more. idea. <laughs> And look at this towel. Now, again, the light is off, but this is teal. Very cute. So what is your favorite thing about the camper? Well, I have a lot of favorite things. I, Like I said, I try to use a lot of things that were family pieces. And um, these, this bark cloth was big draperies on our porch at our camp in Maine that mm -hmm. we had in the 50s and 60s. And I kept the fabric and uh, eventually found a good use for them. I cut them down and made curtains for the trailer with them. And they actually match yeah. the linoleum. Pretty good. Yeah. Really good. <clears throat> these these um, 
Melamine dishes were my mom and dad's when in the 50s. The cups were my mom and dad's in the 50s. So it kind of worked with what I had to design the colors and put it together. Now, I just called this linoleum. Is it actually for it's, Mica? It's for Mica. It's, yeah, so uh, I called brand, it. The brand is Wilson Art, and it's a laminate. Um, it's... So I correct myself so nobody else has to. <laughs> yeah. There's... Okay. Anything else you want to tell us about it? Uh, I think that's about it. We're working on the painting, of course, and uh, exterior, and uh, we Did... will... We will eventually have um, that coordinated to match our 61 uh, Pontiac Catalina wagon that we Oh, that'll be cool with. to tow with that, yeah. yeah. Just didn't bring it this time. But. All right, thank you, Carol. And guys, I'm going to put thank some you, still Doreen. shots at the end, so don't leave yet. Uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up if you haven't, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.